paid $2.99 at Goodwill and sold for $285 plus shipping within hours of listing. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money plush. Plush to be on the lookout for. Another word for plush is stuffed animals. And you may have sold one of these. You may have never seen one of these. We're gonna find out, but I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I shared this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It says, share your best plush Bolo. And then everybody in the Facebook group that wanted to share a big money plush, put it in the comments. So I've got all the information. So I'm gonna give it all to you here. And you guys are gonna see some big money bolos that might just knock your socks off. This is my Facebook group. If you're not in it, definitely go and check it out. Um, I'd love for you to come over and follow and share a bolo. Let's get started here with the first one. And speaking of ones that I've never heard of, I'm gonna have to say, I don't think I've ever seen this one. Garage sale, paid 50 cents, sold for 42 plus buyer paid shipping. It's a vintage 1987 Brush A Loves white plush stuffed bear, pink belly rainbows. And this is what it looks like. So Brush A Loves. Paid $2.99 for Sky at Goodwill and sold for $285 plus shipping within hours of listing. Wow. Okay, now I get it. I'm like, Sky, it's a Lisa Frank. If you don't know, Lisa Frank is a big money bolo. I've got videos on Lisa Frank. Type in Bolo Buddies Lisa Frank and you can see some more bolos. This is what it looks like. It's a jumbo 22 inch Sky Rainbow Pegasus Plush Beanie from 1998, $285. That is awesome. And she got it at the Goodwill, you guys. And it sold within hours. So maybe, just maybe, she either priced it right or she sold it too low. What do you guys think? All right, here's another good one. Paid 99 cents at the Salvation Army and sold for $125 within a day of listing. So we're talking fast sales here. Douglas Brittany Spaniel, Isabel Rare Retired Plush. So I have told you guys this before. If you can find plush that look like people's animals, put realistic in the title, people will buy them because they want something that looks like their animal. This is what it looks like. And it's sold on Mercari. And I tell you guys all the time, put your plush on Mercari. If you're selling on a platform, cross post them. I use List Perfectly. There's a demo video down below. You can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies. I'm not gonna go into all of how it works. Check out the demo video. And if you use my referral link to join Mercari, you're gonna get $10 to shop and another $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So that's $30 that you can reinvest in your business. Um, that is my referral link. So I do get a credit to shop also. And I like that because you know what I do? I buy stuff to resell. <laughs> <laughs> Mercari is also great for looking for items to resell. A lot of times people on Mercari are just hobby sellers selling stuff out of their house. They don't always look up comps and sometimes you can snag a good deal. So Bolo Buddies tip number one. I don't know if there'll be a tip number two or not, but let's move on to some more Bolos. Um, Lola's Trunk Treasures, my best plush Bolo to date for the this year is a Build-A-Bear Pokemon that I picked up at the Goodwill for $5 and sold with my promotion for 48. It is a Build-A-Bear Pokemon Jolteon. Oh, the names. This is what it looks like. And Lola's Trunk Treasures is a Bolo Buddies YouTube member, which means she has joined memberships at level two or higher. And she gets a pop-up of her eBay store here, and I will link it down in the description. Check out her eBay store. She is a great Bolo finder. Very good stuff. And here is another one that she sold. My favorite plush bolo was more of a bread and butter, but sold in less than 12 hours. And the message I received from the buyer, bloopers at the end. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, sold in less than 12 hours. And the message I received from the buyer brought me to tears. She was a replacement for a deeply loved plush that was lost while her granddaughter was traveling, lost on the plane or in the airport and had been missing for over six months. Picked her up at the Goodwill for $3. Total profit was 23. 
So she sold it for $24.99. It says Gans Daydreamers Purple Pink Elephant Plush 14 Inch Stuffed Animal. So that's another thing I like about selling plush is the messages that you get. And I've said this in other videos. It just seems like, you know, if you sell plush long enough, you're going to get some message from somebody saying exactly this. I needed this and you had it. Thank you. So it may not have been the biggest money bolo. However, $3 into $24.99 is pretty good in my opinion. Uh, but wow, you know, just those messages are the best. Bought in a thrift store for a dollar and sold it for 50. It is a vintage Walt Disney World Frontierland Pete o Outlaw mini bean bag with tags. And this is what it looks like. Thrift store for $1.99 uh, sold for 60. The big comfy couch. It is Molly's friend plush, 1995, and it sold for $60 on Mercari. Uh, let's see. Somebody put, love all your finds. Have sold many different types of things, but not plush. Seeing the different makers makes me ask if there's a specific group about plush or a YouTube video I'm unaware of. Would love to educate myself more. And somebody put, follow the Rebel reseller on YouTube. She sells 99% plush. Yes, the Rebel reseller is fantastic for plush videos. I have a bunch of plush videos. Just type in Bolo Buddies plush. It'll pull them up. I do category videos. I also do videos just like you're seeing. Um, the Zombie Bargain Hunter, the Cajun Reseller, Flippin' Hippos are three that come to mind besides the Rebel Reseller that also talk a lot about plush. So check them out as well. Purchased a grab bag with six plushies at Goodwill for $2.99. Held on to it for three months because I could not find any information on the cupcake. Sold in one day for $100. American Greetings Am Toy Vintage 1985 Cupcake Cuties. What? Ah, how cute is that? Paid a quarter at a church garage sale. Sold for full price of $34.99. So $0.25 cents into $34.99. And guess what it is? It's a tie. Princess the Pink Teddy Bear. Medium size, 8-inch plush toy. How cute is that? It's a tie. It's, is that considered a Beanie Baby? I don't know if that one's a Beanie Baby because it's an 8-inch. But yeah, some of the tie do pretty well. Check out my Bolo Buddies tie video. Type Bolo Buddies tie into the YouTube search bar and it'll pull it up. There are some that go for big money. Bought for 50 cents and sold for $99.90. Vintage thermal trunk up elephant. Thanks to Bolo Buddies. I look for plush now. Yay me. Oh, it's so cute. Wow, 50 cents into $99.90. I don't know what brand it is because uh, they didn't put the title in the photo, but yeah, super cute. Purchased on Mercari, see, I think, I, did I say it in this video or another video that Mercari is a really good place to source? I don't know if it was this video or another one. I just did another plush video right before this. Oh, there are going to be so many bloopers at the end of this. Mercari is a great place to source. So anyway, purchased for $8, free shipping on Mercari and sold it for $39.99 on eBay. It is a PBS Kids World I'm sorry, I can't read it. Word World Tiger Magnetic Pull Apart Plush Letters Educational Toy. Check that out, never seen that one. Wow, it's really small, so I had to zoom in, which means I have to get closer to my screen. <laughs> oh, the eyes, the eyes, I even have glasses. This was a while ago, but it's still on one of my favorite sales. Got it at the bins. It was $5 and sold it for $333. It's Disney Store Bolt 30-inch Lane Large Plush White Dog. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, big old plush dogs. They can do well. Bought a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's Plush at a garage sale. Paid $40 for all of them. Sold two lots for $50 and eight individual sales ranging from $30 to $115 each. Here's the highest one, $115 for a six-inch plush. It is a Five Nights at Freddy's uh, Bonnie Funko plush bunny rabbit. And then that one sold for $40. And then this is Golden Freddy 
Five Nights at Freddy's 2016 exclusive Walmart. That's one thing that the Rebel reseller will tell you on her channel. Pick up Walmart, pick up Walgreens, pick up, you know, the CVS, the exclusives that are vintage, retired, hard to find. Even if they come from like a pharmacy or like CVS or Walgreens or a big box store like Walmart, those can still go for big money if they are retired. So tip from the Rebel reseller. Here are a couple more of the Five Nights at Freddy's. This one sold for $39.99. It's a Target exclusive. It is Freddy's Phantom Foxy. Uh, this one is another, um, it sold for 53 Chica, Chica, and it's two of them. And it says 2016 original. Best offer of 380 plus shipping accepted. Sold in about four hours. I bought this at the Goodwill Benz for about a dollar. Even a blind squirrel gets a nut sometimes. <laughs> I'm guessing what they're saying is they didn't know it was a bolo or they got lucky. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> um, chocolate or no. Choco cat. Choco cat. Black Hello Kitty Sanrio Build-A-Bear plush with keychain and outfit. And this is what it looks like. 380 bucks. Wow. Purchased at a hole-in-the-wall thrift store in Georgia for 50 cents. Sold within two weeks for 285 plus shipping. This is about the size of my hand and it was buried in a tote when I found it. With tag clean 2004 digit Cyber Chase TV show rare purple plush. Dodo Bird. Would you have picked it up or walked right past it? $285. Wow. I purchased this vintage kipper with tags at a church sale. It was a bag sale, so I paid less than a dollar for it. It sold on Mercari for $132. All right, let's see if we can zoom in here. It's really small, guys. Uh, kipper the Dog 1998 Prestige 15-inch Stuffed Animal Plush rare vintage puppy. This is what it looks like. Mercari. Paid $2.99, sold for $80. And you guys, I'm not telling you that plush doesn't go for big money on eBay. What I'm telling you is a lot of times plush is flooded on eBay. So you may sell your item faster and you may sell it for more money on Mercari because there's less competition over there. And people that are shopping on Mercari, they're not shopping on eBay. Some of them are, like I am, but a lot of people, they're using their money that they make on Mercari, like it goes into a little holding spot, and you can either deposit that money into your checking, or you can spend that money on Mercari. A lot of people choose to spend the money on the app. So, uh, you may have different buyers. Definitely, you have different buyers over on the other platforms. So, uh, po uh, Poshmark is also good for plush, so check it out. There's a link down below for Poshmark also, but you only get $10 from Poshmark. Come on, Poshmark. Uh, $10 to shop if you use my referral link to join. Uh, I'm kidding. I just gave Poshmark a hard time. What's wrong with me? All right. Paid $2.99 and sold for $80. Fantasy Winged Dragon, one of a kind handmade plush toy. And it sold for $80. Look at this guy. So, one of a kind handmade. Wow. That's, that's a weird looking, that's a weird looking dude. <laughs> that's all I got to say. But I will tell you that I think Mercari is very, very smart to give that incentive of additional money when you sell a hundred dollars worth of stuff, because what's the first thing you're going to do? You now have an incentive to get your items listed quicker because you're going to get some money to shop when you sell your items, right? I mean, it's super smart, super smart. I think eBay should have a like something like that, but I think everybody's on eBay. Uh, Bolo Buddies member Ohio Treasure Hunters. This is his eBay store. He does not have a YouTube channel. I bought this at a yard sale for a dollar. I listed it for $289.99 and took a best offer of $240 plus shipping. It is a Build-A-Bear candy corn kitty Halloween cat orange, yellow, and white. Rare find. That's what it looks like. 
This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Piece of Scrap. This is her YouTube channel. She does a lot of clothing. Definitely check her out. She's super knowledgeable, but this is a plush. She said, got it at the Goodwill for $3 and sold it for $29 on Mercari. It is Sinclair Oil Gas Plush Stuffed Dinosaur Dino Brontosaurus Animal, 21 inches. There it is. Sold these two Hello Kitty Build-A-Bears within a day of each other. Those are the subtotals before taxes and shipping. Sought after plushies for sure. I got them at a community aid for $1.29 each, and I had no idea at the time that they were that good. All right, so it looks like they're both Build-A-Bear. And one is a Hello Kitty Red uh, Limited Edition, $77. And the other is a Hello Kitty valentine's day limited edition and it sold for 114 so yes there are build-a-bear that go for big money sold another plush from my big video game plush character buy i had sent out an offer on mercari for 40 on this plush and a few days after that offer expired i got a message from one of the people asking me if it was still available i replied that it was a few minutes later it sold for full asking price to a completely different buyer. I messaged the first buyer back and said, actually, I'm sorry, but it just sold. It went for 45 plus shipping on Mercari. It is a Funko 2017 Cuphead and Mugman nine inch plush stuffed toy. And this is what it looks like. My mom, my mom, <laughs> my most recent plush was this Webkins Aardvark with code, bought for $2.99 at the Goodwill and sold it for $32.98 plus shipping, was only listed about a month. This is what it looks like. Webkins, some of them can go for crazy money, like over $100. I do have a video on Webkins Big Money Plush. Check that out if you want to know which ones to really look for. But this is a great flip, $3 into $32.98. So a lot of the Webkins are bread and butter, but some of them are big bucks. Um, this one's mine. I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents and I took a best offer of $45. It is a Carter's My First Doll Rattle Plush, black hair, pink heart, white floral pigtails bow. This is what she looks like. And 50 cents into 45, I will take that all day long. And I think that Carter's is often underestimated and missed. Bought this Ghost Papa Imitris IV plush hot topic exclusive 10 inch global merch at Goodwill for $1.99 and sold him for $125. Whoa, never seen anything like that. Ghost Papa, huh? That's what it looks like. Is that like a TV show or something or a video game? Best of July plush sale had about a dollar each into these Kentucky Derby Churchill Downs official Thai Beanie Baby Derby horses, which included. Secretariat. Secretariat. Isn't there a movie called Secretariat? I think there is. Sold within a day of listing. Listed for 55. Took a best offer of 48. Don't let people tell you that beanie babies are worthless. Sold on Poshmark. Yeah, you can sell plush on Poshmark. We talked about that. Here's a Poshmark plush sale. Finally found a Webkin's Timber in the Wild. Found at a local church thrift store for 75 cents, sold within a week, did take an offer of 110. So I believe this is one of the ones that I talk about in my Webkin's Bolo video. It is the Timberwolf, and this is what it looks like. All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you have a plush bolo that you would like to share to have it featured in a video like this, head over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and look for this post. I'm going to keep this going because, quite frankly, I love plush bolo videos because they always knock off my socks. Seriously. Like, where are my socks? Does anybody see my socks? Okay, I'm kidding. Anyway, where are your socks? Because I know one of these knocked your socks off. So number one, tell me where your socks are. Number two, tell me where your socks landed. I already said that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Number two, tell me which bolo in this video knocked your socks off. All right. Thanks for watching. From the buyer brought T... <laughs> plush, not just plush, but <laughs> this is about the size of my hand. <clears throat> oh, I need water. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.